Hey everyone and welcome back to Elemental Cartomancy. I'm coming on today to talk to you about this deck, uh, Diablo, the Sanctuary, Tarot deck and Guidebook that does so. Um, so this is a deck that I got for Christmas. Um, it was one that I showed in my live with Simon when we were both showing what decks we got. Um, and it's one that, that Simon got and he showed on his live yesterday. Um, and it, it, kind of a jog my memory that I, I'd still take kind of a film something with this deck. Um, so the deck comes in a kind of a magnetic um, hard style box, which is pretty decent. It does the job. It keeps the deck nice and safe. We get a guidebook, um, which is kind of a this way oriented, um, which is quite cool. As you can see, we're getting colour images um, and we're getting a nice way to uh, you know, upright and reversed interpretation. One thing that I've noticed that the book doesn't do um, is it doesn't refer much to the game. So this is based on a game called Diablo. And the, the, the images that have been kind of a selected for the cards, they're all, as I understand it, they're all characters from the game. Um, but it doesn't, like, it, it doesn't tell you you know, who, who it is in the image, why it's been selected, so far as I can um, determine. So, for example, here, we get the, it shows the High Priestess. We get the interpretation. It says, you stand at the doors of the temple facing an initiation. You'll be given little information. You must weave your way through dangers and challenges. If successful, you will not only... You will find not only your desire, but also an unexpected gift. Navigate this labyrinth by quelling your thoughts. Follow your subtle clawing and your follow that subtle clawing in your gut, the gentle tug of your heart. And you can see that we're getting keywords of mystery, secrets, and intuition. Now it reads kind of a quite um like a bit of a quest. It reads kind of a gameish, but it doesn't say you know this is you know such and such character from uh, Diablo um. This is why that character was selected, etc., etc. Um, so if you were looking for that amount of detail, then you know you might be a bit disappointed. Um, if not, if you're happy for it just to kind of like dive into the tarot stuff, then this is ideal. This book is the ideal amount of information. Um, as you can see, it's got some great information on spreads, um, and yeah. It has good info on majors and minors. It doesn't kind of a like scrimp out on the minors. As you can see, we're getting the same amount of information as we do for the major arcana cards. Okay, the deck itself is massive. Um, the cards are pretty huge. Um, if I compare one of these cards to a standard US games. You know, you can see this is like, this even goes beyond oracle size. Um, I'd imagine it'd be quite difficult to do like a big spread with this deck. Um, but a three card spread, this would be absolutely fantastic because, you know, the, the size, you're, you're able to kind of uh, dive into all of that, um, all of the symbolism, all of the imagery. Um, and, you know, this would be for me ideal to have like three cards you know, if I do my three card spread of the day um, and then have my three cards just kind of a sitting for me to kind of a glance at. The backs are, they have this kind of a, if I hold it like that, then you can see in the light, it, it has this kind of a, I don't know whether to call that embossing or, um, but it's really, really nice. Card stock is soft matte as well. If you're interested, let's have a wee flick through them. Um, I, it started off annoying me that my desk it looks as though like there it's pointing away, and it's because of the way that my camera is sitting. But it's actually ideal like that because look what happens if it's kind of a sitting, you know, um, level. The light hits it in the wrong way, so this is actually ideal. Um, we can see, you know, the images in all their glory here. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit, pop some music on and do a flip through, let you see all the cards. Um, and yeah, then we can come back at the end and maybe do a wee spread with it.
Okay, let's talk shuffle. Um, the easiest way that I've found to shuffle them overhand is kind of a long ways like this. Um, trying to do it the normal way. The deck's just too big. I can only kind of uh, grab the last few cards. So it's not really very good. I'm able to riffle them, but I have to do it kind of a sideways like this. Um, so you can kind of, because they're quite like broad, they're quite big along the way, um, you can just about get a decent riffle on them like that. Um, and I'm not going to try and bridge them, but um, but yeah, that, that that's worked quite nicely. So in the book, um, if we just have a wee look at the spreads again, there was an advice spread and I thought we would try that. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Zoe spread actually. Um, advice spread. So this is used to change the outcome of a reading uh, as well as offer guidance on what to do and what not to do, whether it's whether on its own or as a follow-up to the Scry in the Future spread. So Scry in the Future was the first one and it's um, present next in future. That's interesting actually. Um, uh, so shuffle your cards and lay them down as indicated. So we've got like one, two, three um, and the positions are do this, an action that you should take to change the situation. Do not do this, something you should not do, even if you think it's a good idea, and then the potential outcome, how the outcome will be affected. Okay, so let's do that then. I'll give them one more shuffle, and then we can pick three cards and see what the deck is telling us. Okay. Okay, so for do this, I've got the Ace of Pentacles. For do not do this, even if you think it seems like a good idea, we have the Five of Cups. And for the potential outcome, or for how the outcome is going to be affected, we've got the Three of Swords. Okay. So, do this, Ace of Pentacles. And they don't do this five of cups if i just kind of take these together the fact that i've got you know an earth card for the do this and a water card for the don't do this this feels like it's, it's reminding me to stay grounded um you know concentrate on the kind of a practicalities of the situation and maybe not so much on the um like you know don't get too tied up to how it's making you feel because you know your how we react to situations is subject to change over time um and you know the quite often i feel for myself like the, the best way for me to um influence how i'm taking a situation in is to actually act on the situation itself There's so many times when i can get so caught up and how i'm being made to feel that actually it deters me from and stops me inhibits me from taking action on the situation um so that's what I feel um, is being indicated there. Another thing is, here we see the hand, it's, it's ready to seize the pentacle. Whereas here, the person's kind of a pouring out from the cup. Um, if you look at how they're holding the cup. So we see someone accepting something, taking something up, and we see someone letting something go here. So that's another kind of a thing that this could be saying is like, um, you know, whatever particular situation this is, what you want to be doing is is accepting, not um, rejecting or not like kind of a, um, letting something go. This is a time to take something on rather than to let something away. Um, and the outcome, how it's going to affect, you know, how the, the situation is going to play out. I mean, we've got the Three of Swords here, so there's still the kind of a, the, the, perhaps the pain um, that, that we see in the Five of Cups. Um, but with the three swords, I like to think that we're at least learning something. Do you know what I mean? We're at least furthering ourselves mentally. There's mental and psychological growth. Um, quite, you know, it's a bit painful. We can see that with the swords through the heart imagery. Um, 
so you know there's no denying that, that it's a painful experience that this is talking about um but there's the opportunity there to learn and um, to to expand and broaden our minds um so yeah that's what i think those that's what i see in those cards um this is an idea of how the cards look laid out in the reading um i hope that you've enjoyed this i hope this was um this was helpful for anyone who's thinking about getting the deck let me know your thoughts uh take care everyone and i'll see you all later bye bye